Hello everybody, this is Joey Gomez with another review on Test It Now Friends. We're a channel that does product reviews and we want to make sure that we are addressing whatever it is that we can to help those students with special needs, uh, support uh, specific learning disabilities, or any type of software or tech that can be used to better their lives. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over a software called XSplit VCAM. This is going to go into the transitional series I'm going to have for the rest of the day. So with that, I'd like to ask that you like, subscribe, also hit that notification bell. That way you'll be able to always get the most recent information that I put out. And also leave a comment in case there's something that you've noticed I haven't reviewed that I can review. Let's go ahead and test it. All right, so today on my screen, you'll see in my little tester's hand, the XSplit VCAM. Well, what is XSplit VCAM? It is a software that you can purchase and it will allow you to take the background you have and completely change it. Why is that important? Sometimes look and appearance is very important. Letting our kids know what their appearance is and how it can help them is another key component to making them successful, especially in this tech savvy world we live in. So let's get right into it. Here I have the actual software itself. And if you look at it, you'll kind of see that I have a lag, but it has a bunch of features that are very simplistic. Today I decided to use a more technical background uh, so, what are the features? You go to settings, you click on them, you can choose what kind of hardware acceleration you would like to use on your specific device. You can go to quality control, which just means that the, f the actual flow or look of the image is going to be more clear. I typically remove my chair. You may have not known I was sitting in a chair this entire time, but I have been. <laughs> I like to be comfortable. But reality <clears throat> is that it's very user friendly. You can blur the background. I like this feature because if you have something like a, um, a a kind of clear view, let's say like you're on in a forest or an island, and you kind of want that to be in the background, but you want to be the central focus, it's definitely a good perk to have. You want to have a good clear background. Typically, a green screen would always be best, but um, there's sometimes when we can't have a green screen, and so we have to use this. Uh, I obviously connected this to my IV cam software I made another video should be linking that right here and if I'd like to have actually more settings uh, set up to this I can click on the settings tab but there really isn't any need uh, you can change the camera you can go between the uh, if you have an external camera or a webcam that you have you can switch I have two: the one that comes with the actual computer I'm using and the uh, IV cam which is a iPhone XR so I have multiple backgrounds that I've already uploaded on here you can do the same uh, motion graphics are a great resource for uh, this software uh, as you see I've just switched the background changed the blur maybe you want it to be more clear I like this one a lot the pendulum uh, the continual movement and uh, lifelong thinking uh, it's, it's you can have a transparent background nothing at all uh, maybe you decide to just leave it blank uh, it looks kind of interesting you might not see anything right now and then you're just original which is just what I have <laughs> surprise bet you didn't expect that in the background but the thing is that um, how do you get this app so let's move on to that part here I have a uh, link to the actual website. It's xsplit.com. They have a number of supports, but I'm really just interested in XSplit VCAM. Uh, as you go to the website and you look at the features itself, you'll see it removes and replaces your background, gives you blur, uh, even without a green screen. So on this website, you'll be able to find information about XSplit VCAM. And you can remove and replace your blur. You can uh, change the actual background to something you prefer exactly what I just demonstrated for you previously I have my own account how do you set this up 
Uh, it does function with OBS. That's another software I've been using. I'll probably be going over that, which is an open source. Uh, it's very intuitive. Once you purchase it, uh, you're able to use it. If you don't have it purchased, it'll leave a watermark, which means simply that you won't get the image that you see here with me in it right now. Um, deal. Right now on Stack Social, their website, they're going to sell you the actual project, if I can get to it, XSplit VCAM for a total of $20. That's right. And this is a lifetime deal. So if it's still available, hopefully it is, fingers crossed, you can get this software literally for $20. Think about how it, what a screen screen could cost you, $27 just to find a cheap one. Uh, the Elgato version, which is $100, which is one that uh, many streamers use. It's a software that can be very supportive of what you need. It is very user friendly. And so as far as a grade, is it going to be up? Is it going to be a down? Well, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Okay. And the reason why is due to the fact that the pros of this are that XSplit VCAM allows you to take yourself and put you in any place, any environment, it gives a great look. The cons of this are that if you don't have the right background, you start to get a um, little uh, jitter uh, and chatter inside of the actual image. It'll go around and it just really makes it look not as clear and as nice as you would like it to be, especially if this was to be a transition skill, you want your kids to learn something that they can use for the rest of their lives. You'd want them to have good quality content. That way their work will look remarkable. And most importantly, um, this software is has a cost to it. So some of our kids may feel um, uncertain of how to acquire that money, how to get the funds to be able to support, getting a laptop that'll function with this software. So it really comes down to the kind of child you're working with. Are they gonna be able to manage this or not? For me, it's somewhere in the middle. But it's been good as far as a resource for me in the videos I've created. And we just tested it.